Hello, Aries. Welcome to October. Welcome to the Divine Conversations. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So we are going to get some quick messages for you for this month. Um, whatever spirit has for you for the month or for the time period, whenever you're watching this, we are recording this in the month of October. Um, but this doesn't absolutely have to resonate for you at that time whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you whenever you stumble upon it. That's the message for you in that moment. Yes. Also keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, could be talking to a cross watcher here. Just keep that in mind. Place it in your life as it fits. Yes. All right, Aries. Let's see. Oh, okay. First card for you is the chariot. That's good. The three of cups. This is also very good. Um, so hold on. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, hold on. All right, let's start there. Okay, Aries, this is great. Uh, you have the Chariot, the Three of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Um, so you may have recently teamed up. I'm hearing partnership. You may have recently teamed up with some people. Um, you may have found, uh, I heard, a good organization, a good community. This also may be some sort of business endeavor here. Um, it feels very good. It feels like uh, I just heard the party's getting started off right. Excellent. I like that. Um, the chariot is telling me that you are very focused. You are very much in alignment right now, or at least are working on being in alignment. I don't, I'm not exactly sure if you feel this because something about this chariot energy does feel a little bit shaky, um, but it feels shaky because it's new. It feels new. This is a new alignment. This is a new path for you. Um, but either way, you're you're starting off this journey fairly well, in good spirits at least, or with good company. Um, and with this Ace of Swords here, what I want to say is you know what is you're doing. Or at least you understand why you're doing it. Yeah, wow, okay. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. There's definitely a fearless energy about this right now, to a certain extent, for the most part. Again, there are some there are some things about your situation right now that might be fairly new to you. So it's I'm literally I literally just heard it's just getting off the ground. OK, so you definitely want to keep moving forward with this. I feel like you want to keep moving forward, at least in this way. Even though you have the Ace of Swords here, Aries, it doesn't necessarily mean that you know exactly how things are going to work out. But at least, again, I feel like you're getting, you're starting off on the right foot. You at least have a direction that you know you want to go in, okay? Or, yeah, there, you, 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 you at least have a, a, a direction you're saying, okay, at this point, regardless as to whatever has happened, whatever has transpired up until now, we are going in this direction. We're going to follow this path, okay? This definitely could be some sort of relationship. However, I don't really feel, yes, and even still, this could be a reading for like a Venus sign, right? So this could technically resonate with love in some way, but that's not really the strong or dominant feeling that I'm getting here. I'm getting that you're determined and you're focused, you're in alignment, your alignment is in check. And you're moving forward confidently. Again, even though you don't necessarily know if or, or how things are going to work out or what's necessarily going to come next, it really just feels like regardless, we're moving forward in this way. We're moving, we're, we're pushing ahead. All right. Okay, let's go a little deeper. So um, for the chariot here, clarifying the chariot for you, Aries. What's the chariot here for Aries? The Wheel of Fortune. The Five of Pentacles, okay. Clarifying the Chariot here for you, Aries. Anything else for the Chariot? Um, it, okay, okay, okay. And then, ah, yes, excellent, Aries. This is really good. Um, overall energy here, you do have the world. There is some sort of major cycle that has been completed. There is a life, you're literally, at this point, Aries, I feel like you are crossing the threshold of an old situation. I heard an old way of life that may have been, you know, fairly uh, had you in a, a level of or energy of destitution, um, feeling lack, uh, left out in the cold. Um, for some of you, I did just hear not worthy enough. 
But that, but that's ending, okay? The chariot here is clarified by the wheel of fortune, the five of pentacles, and then the six of swords. This is what's changing. This atmosphere here, this energy here, this five of pentacles energy is what's changing. And I definitely feel like Aries, there is a either a group of people friends or maybe a, just a community that it seems that you may have been able to get into alignment with and i do feel that there is a level of uncertainty involved with this situation just because you know the future is unsettled or is, is not set in stone you don't know exactly how things are going to transpire from this moment out but what we do know or what you do know what i feel like you are sure of or solid within is your direction is the path that you are on at this point that is intended to lead you towards great change in terms of feeling left out feeling uh, this could be financially you know having being in a pretty bad financial situation pulling yourself out of that or just feeling lack or left out okay i feel like I definitely feel the dominant thing here for you right now, Aries, is that you have a really solid group of people around you, people that you can trust, people that you that you vibe with, your soul family, your community, your tribe. I want to say you found your tribe, Aries. And that's a really good thing. And that's helping leading you, lead you out of this feelings of being left out. You may have been in a pretty strong hermit mode for a long time. You may have been rocking solo, you know, solo dolo for a long time, trying to do everything yourself when that's not really necessary anymore. And that's interesting, Aries. That is something that um, I personally have been picking up on and feeling for some time. Um, it's like we're, we're in a phase of life right now or in, in human life or in human society where those days of being a lone wolf and being able to carry things on your own or just handle everything on your own, do it by yourself, those days are, that's not really the time period for, for it right now. It feels like collectively within humanity, human society, this is a time period where we all kind of need to come together to work together, to, to, to do things together, to achieve things together. You don't have to do it all on your own. And I feel like Aries, you're in a period right now where you have found that group of people that you can do things with, that you can vibe with, that you can rock with, that you can move forward with, okay? I like this a lot for you. Let's clarify that, this, this Three of Cups energy. Clarify the Three of Cups for Aries, please. Okay. All right, overall energy here. Now you have the Emperor. That's you, Aries. Okay. Um, you, you might be a leader in this pack in some way. I do get a feeling, Aries, that you're kind of like a head honcho here in some way. I don't know. You have the Three of Wands. Clarifying this Three of Cups here, you have the Three of Wands. You have the Six of Pentacles. It did come out in reverse. With that, you have the Three of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands. So, okay. I get it. So, the Three of Cups here. This was that moment where you realized, I can't do this all on my own. Or, at the very least, I don't need to do this all on my own. I kind of want to have some sort of group, some sort of friends, some sort of people here that, you know, we can share the responsibilities with, I guess, in some ways. Okay, with this Three of Wands and the Six of Pentacles here, whatever situation you were in in the past that seems to be closing out, it wasn't balanced. It wasn't giving you what it is you felt you deserved or you needed or required. It wasn't, it wasn't reciprocal. And you had to kind of look forward and say to yourself, three of wands here, say to yourself, okay, well, this is not balanced. This is not reciprocal. This is, I'm not receiving the return on the investment that I feel I need to be or I should be really. So how do we fix that? How do we change that? How do we... How do we get back on track there? 
cue the Three of Pentacles to the Queen of Wands. The Three of Pentacles is the energy of teamwork. Well, I guess maybe I should, and this is saying to me, maybe I should open up to potentially having partners or being with a team or finding a group of people where we have a commonality, a common theme between us, a common feeling, a common understanding between us so that we can all work towards a similar or the same goal. This was that moment that you stood up and kind of, and okay, so that's, this is also where the emperor comes in because the emperor is that type of energy where it's, he's like, okay, well, if we, if we want X, then we have got to follow, let's, I, say, I say it like this all the time. If we want a devil's food cake, we're gonna have to follow a devil's food cake recipe, right? This is a moment where you made that executive decision to say, okay, well, if, if this isn't working out just on my own, then I guess I'm gonna have to branch out seek advice, seek help, seek partners, seek a, a, a group of people. Okay. Well, overall, uh, 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 Aries, this is still good. This is still very, very good. Okay. So then clarifying this, Ace of Swords then. What's this Ace of Swords for Aries? Honestly, Aries, what I feel about this Ace of Swords is the truth is understanding, yes, this is the right direction for me to go in, or this is you having made the decision, Ace of Swords, the truth is here. Clarity, I just get feelings of clarity of how to move forward. Understanding what is right for you or what is right for you to do at this moment to move forward. Again, it does, I'm not feeling like there's any sort of certainty or, assured, or assuredness of how things are going to work out or how things are going to transpire, but at least at this point, you know the truth. And the truth is, this is the direction we got to move in. This is how we got to move from here on out. Okay, Ace of Swords for Aries, please. Yep, look at this. First card is the Eight of Cups. So you're definitely leaving some sort of partnership behind from the past or some sort of association, something that you were working towards for quite some time. You had put a lot of energy, attention, effort, um, passion, emotion, creativity. You had put a lot into it, but it wasn't working out. And this is on a solo sphere, on a solo dolo type of energy, right? Clarifying this eight of, Ace of Swords, excuse me, is you have the Eight of Cups, the Four of Cups, but then the Sun. And this also feels like Aries, it's like your heart wasn't in it any longer. You no, wanted, you, you no longer wanted to do it. And that's because I feel like it was, whatever, whatever we're talking about here, Aries, it was depleting you, it was draining you, you were feeling left out in the cold, you just, you didn't want to, you didn't want to be a part of it any longer. And instead of resisting that, instead of fighting against that, at some point you were just like, you know what, let me just stop. Let me just drop what I'm doing, do it, blah, 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 whatnot, whatever, just drop it and walk away. And to be quite honest with you, Aries, even though in the moment that seemed or felt counterintuitive, because I feel like you have been very driven, okay? You've been trying, you've been looking for all of the ways to achieve your goal or accomplish what it was you were looking to do and trying each and every which way and it just wasn't working out. And it's almost as if the universe kind of like maybe backed you into a corner in a sense, or at least that's maybe how you felt. And instead of resisting against the shift that was naturally happening, you were just like, fuck it, whatever. I'm just gonna drop it. I'm just gonna leave it right there and I'm gonna walk away from it. And it seems that was the best thing you could have done, the sun. Okay, overall energy is the six of cups here. Again, there's a big, big energy for you, Aries, in terms of partnership and teamwork. Working together with people who are like-minded. This could be so simple as you just getting out there and either hanging out with your friends more or being around people more. Okay. I actually want to clarify the sun. Can we clarify the sun a little bit more for Aries, please? 
Anything else you want to say about the sun? Temperance, yeah. Yeah, because you, you understanding, recognizing, Ace of Swords, is the, that's what the sun is here clarifying, the Ace of Swords. The, the truth, the moment that you realized, okay, I've got to go about this differently, or okay, I've got to change some things, or okay, I just got to walk away from this for a moment, for the time being, altogether, maybe. And, that, and you just settling into that and accepting that absolutely was the best thing for you to do, because then that is now allowing the universe or yeah, is allowing the universe to rebalance things now. It's like once, once, you, once you took your hands out of the situation, once you stopped trying to manipulate the situation or mold the situation, or try, once you stopped trying to get things to work, that's when the universe came in or could come in and say, okay, let's, let's shift things around a little bit. And that's helping you to come out of some level of anxiety. Nine of Swords is the overall energy here, further clarifying the sun where we got temperance. That Ace of Swords to the Nine of Swords creates the 10. There's the completion. There's the ending of the tough, difficult situation, okay? That's excellent, Aries. There is literally an energy here of you having to get out of your own way. <laughs> okay closing message for you aries potential outcome here there's the six of cups again all right closing message for aries here closing message for aries please yes aries yes aries knight of swords is the overall energy at the bottom of the deck moving forward definitely moving forward um yeah here you go there it is right there. You have the Six of Cups, the Magician, and then the Three of Swords is, at the, is, is reversed. All right. So this is definitely a time for healing or a time where you could be healing, you know, pulling the swords out of your heart, um, reconciling some pain or some difficulty that you have been dealing with. And this is all comes from some level of community. I still, I'm still getting this level of community energy with the Six of Cups here too. Now the Six of Cups is officially about the past um reminiscent type energy nostalgia but it's also a, with it being a six it's also a level a, a number of or a card of reciprocity so this could be emotional reciprocity emotional fulfillment and achieving that through being with others being in a community of people being with people that you vibe with that you flow with that you're willing to share with and that is really Aries, that is, that is really going to be helping drive you forward. I feel like once you really settle into this next phase, this next cycle, there's going to be a moment where you just take off. Because the energies will be right for it. There will be a balanced and positive flow of give and take, of, of energy, of emotion, of compassion, of grace even. Okay? that's really going to help you manifest. And I do feel like for some of you here, even though you may have walked away from a certain situation or maybe a certain project right now, I feel like for some of you, either there's gonna be a brand new project that takes over or that project that you kind of took a step back from or that situation that you took a step back from, you'll find that it'll, there'll be a resurgence of energy and this time the energy will just flow so much better. But that's because you have the proper environment around you, the proper energetic situation, the proper circumstances flowing around you to have that energy moving in a better way. Excellent, Aries. I love this for you. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye. <laughs>